Yes, it's a book. Oh man, damn. <laughs> Holdness and Balance Vibrations family, let me be the first to welcome you as a reflection of you. I'm your brother Curtis Aru and this is the One Tribe Podcast, home of the Daily Spectrum Resonance where we share solutions relating to physical, mental, and spiritual well-being with sovereignty as our goal. We discuss what works with the depth guests, tribe, no theory, just raw, unapologetic truth because truth is nature and we honor her gifts so leave your esoteric shoes at the door and let's make soul connections with every step forward let's keep vibing in resonance at top speeds because the portal is now open hold us in, in, in the episode of simpsons in the introduction you're taught he's writing on that chalkboard in the introduction of Simpsons. So when it comes to anything that you do, be sure when you're studying, you're actually taking a pen and paper and you're writing it. Mm -hmm. So you can imprint yourself mm -hmm. because typing doesn't give you that imprinting that mm -hmm. you need mm -hmm. because it has autocorrect, it has all these things. And subconsciously, we tend to move our fingers really quick and then we use our minds. So subconsciously, we're already spelling out the words with our fingers, mm -hmm. not really thinking about the mm -hmm. sentence itself, mm -hmm. unlike mm -hmm. if you were, if you were uh, a writing, or if you, I would say, if you want to know a guy who got to take the mouse and the keyboard and, back, back, and maybe back, you back. might be imprinting yourself at that point. Because it's right, right. a lot. <laughs> bang, 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 it bang. So you might yeah. be imprinting yourself at that. Exactly. Point. And some people have a level of mastery where they can like think with, you no, know, and it, <laughs> we was talking about earlier how, you, how fast the subconscious mind moves to the conscious mind. Like when you got that, cool. That that there. Some people got that skill. I ain't there yet, you know. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. So some people have it. Some people. Some people don't. Mm -hmm. So it's really based on the person. Exactly. Uh, but I still believe, even if with that, writing is so much better. Exactly. It's a skill. It's a skill. I saw this cat like uh, a. I think he had to be in the 70s, and he was doing um. He's writing out an order for me. I forgot where I was at exactly. Uh, something recently too. Um. I think it was like a mechanic or something like that, old cat. But he like wrote out, and I was like, man, you got some nice penmanship. Like it was, it was smooth too. And I was like, wow, you know. And then I was like, hey, this is a craft. You know, I got my little feather right here, though, back in the ink hey, and the feather. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> dip it in and get flow it, in ink. No mistake, no no white eye. Well, no, it's, it's a skill. You had to know what you were writing, and you had to be confident in uh, doing your scripts. And so, as my brother said, before you tapping into this level of, of sovereignty on this path, you got to be mindfully aware of what is there. You know, so those questions have to be asked. Now, where am I? Who am I? How do we get here? Um, where do I want to go? And you know, to say fools rush in, like my brother Savan be dropping. When you jump in, let's say even start a business, you know, what kind of business I want to start? You know, um, uh, talk, using these given things like the EIN numbers. What kind of EIN number do I really need? Do I need a CPN number that my bro get? Um, do, what, what do I need to fortify myself in this space? But first, before you with all that, you have to go and fortify yourself within, you know, before you go to try to get a loan from these places. Hey, what, what, what are the resources that I have within? You know, what are my skill set? What is my uniqueness? What is my business going to be? Now, is it my passion? And you go in to find like, what my passion is. What do I speak? What, do, what can I do? For the rest of my days, and not be, not be tight. You know, half people who are to work more than half, you know, hates their job. You know, how do right. you create something that it's what you love to do? That's your unique, your unique spin that you have on your fingerprint. Here. Nobody has that. Only you have that spin. So as you spiral within, going into meditation, not necessarily worshiping, you know, something externally from yourself. You're going in within. 
what do you find? And after you find yourself, because you find yourself when you buy yourself, and as you do that, you manifest on the external plane. These opportunities you need to flow on this particular plane. And on this plane that has rules, because it's a game, you know, so these rules can be found in equity, can be found, though they, they hit, their delusion would be the law, you know, but you have to give, they get in and, uh, and share. So why you're here in the, do- what are your documents saying? Like my brother, uh, so eloquently. I can go into out. that. Yeah. Let's go into that. Let's do it. Uh, uh, as I said earlier, and, and, and I'm sure most of our viewers have missed it, which is okay. I'm, I'm going to give it to you. So as you said, find yourself within. And, um, you know, my, my organization is Living Equity Private Ministry. We are a 508C1A. Um, uh, uh, so that means we're a private church. We're not one of these churches you see on the public corners and stuff like that, right? Yeah. We're not one of them pastors with the handkerchief and got to pat yourself every time I say a scripture and the, the crowd screams, hallelujah. None of that, <laughs> right? We, we, we're, we're administering uh, the word to a degree to where how can we apply it in real life situations? See, when we go to church, they're just talking about religion all day. They're not showing you how to be debt free. They're not, they're not showing you how to be truly free. They're only giving you a dream per se, right? A want to have that connection with that, that entity or that God, but they're not showing you other things in your life that need to be good so you can have a better connection. Because can we really connect under financial stress? It's blockage there. Because mm-hmm, your mm-hmm. mind is not going to be focused on the inner you, God, you, or that being. It's going to be focused more on how can I fix my credit? Oh, I'm in a bad situation. I need this. I need that. Our churches are not doing that. Mm-hmm. So that's where we come in. We mm-hmm. educate personal credit, business credit, because we believe in being in debt is a sin. How to honor your mother and your father according mm-hmm. to the street. Say. Not be a surety to a stranger. And mm-hmm. when, and when I'm talking about that is your name. Are you honoring your name? Mm-hmm. Hey, my, 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 my government name. Hey, my name is your government name. So the government gave you that name. Mm-hmm. Is your, mother, your father gave you that name and the government took it and made it worse than what it really was supposed to be. He made a doppelganger out of it, made mm-hmm. it your evil twin, where now you're suffering for the use of the government name rather than using your mother and your father's that they gave you. Mm-hmm. Well, what do you mean? I'm confused. Nick, tune into the next podcast for that. I shall. Give some surface. Mm-hmm. Right? Exactly. Yeah. Another thing, um, we do CPNs, as he was saying, credit privacy numbers. This is normally used for people who are victims of fraud, identity theft, felons, criminal record, or whatever you may have. They may prevent you from getting a rental or a, 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 a credit or a car or whatever it is. This creates a second opportunity so you can do it the right way with instructions. Now, we're not telling you to leave your personal credit alone and let that just pile up. No, you use the CPN while you're fixing your personal credit. Okay, that's what it's used for, all right? Uh, we uh, we also have a clothing line called Covenant T Clothing. Check the hat. The brother got one of the shirts on. Beneficial owner. Uh, you know, beneficial owner is a beneficiary of an estate. We educate through our clothes. So a lot of our clothes, when you first purchase it, it has a hang tag on it. So if you want to know what a lot of my clothes mean, you just scan that hang tag and it takes you to the financial dictionary. OK, so that's something educating you with a style, something different. All right. Trying to look cool while we getting educated. And we also got the Circle Full of Winners brand, too. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah, yeah. Circle Full of Winners. You know what I mean? Yes, sir. You know, no squares. No mm-hmm. squares. No curve. So, no, no straight lines. All right. You know what I mean? Uh, uh, so, you know, we offer a lot. Uh, but to get back to it, what we enlighten those on is your status. And there's a difference between uh, your nationality and your state of mind, your status. Mm-hmm. People co-mingle the two. And they're different. They're not the same. Uh, Kurt, uh, Brother Haru was uh, talking about this earlier about, you know, we... His, his teacher used to ask some questions, but never give him the answer. And the questions he asked or the answer they gave always sure. led to him asking another question. Right. Right. Where are you? People, like, think deeper than with the surface of what you've been taught. Mm-hmm. 
You know, mm-hmm. if it's not what we taught, it's taboo or conspiracy theories. Mm-hmm. Exactly. Exactly. That, exactly. If it's not what we're taught, it's taboo and conspiracy. Yeah, you don't know right? for sure. Right. You know, because our minds can't fathom it. It's not real for some reason, exactly. which is a, far from the truth. Mm-hmm. So right. what his teacher was doing is trying to get you to think deeper within yourself to say, hey, everything is not what it seems on the surface. Mm-hmm. I, me and Kurt went through a video just now with a guy. We'll do that too next class. Mm-hmm. That podcast will show you guys that. Yeah. He, he, he had a piece of paper with a square and he showed you how your, your, your subconscious naturally kicks in and changes the perspective of your outlook without an object actually moving. Mm-hmm. If you mm-hmm. stare at it long enough. Exactly. Okay. Exactly. It's amazing when you can and see things from multiple perspectives. And when you again, we already have a built-in duality. Well, I'll say triple triplicity. Yeah, you know, we gotta talk about the third eye, but that's a whole nother whole another level. Another <laughs> you got the left side and right side. If you hold your hand out there, close one eye, you'll see your hand right there. When you swap it over, you'll see it shift oh, over yeah. just a bit. But the hand didn't shift at all. Your perceptive perception change. So this is an ability that you naturally have to tap into. Try to see things from another perspective. Yoga is a great teacher for that. I'm seeing things. Your level of flexibility is a direct correlation, but your ability to see things from different perspectives, different angles, and allowing the body to contort itself to be able to see things and, and move in that way. Exactly. And again, I like, like right there, the master, move like water. Be water, yeah. my friend. That's exactly what you have to do because once you realize that, I can switch in and out to these different perceptions. That means I have to then learn how to master each perception that I'm able mm. to flip in and out into. Mm-hmm. Exactly. We're so masters of this reality of a uh, matrix we're living in, but have you mastered that uh, that 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 uh, the uh, the oracle within you? Mm. Have you really got down within you and be like, okay, this is the other side I need to master, like mm. virtual right. side, exactly. because. Nationality and status, first and foremost, is all spiritual first. Mm-hmm. Why? Because sovereignty doesn't, it's not given to you, bought nor sold. It's granted to you by like a gift. But where did the gift come from? The creator, mm-hmm. God, mm-hmm. most high, mm-hmm. Allah, whoever you call it, it, her, whatever. Mm-hmm. That's that person gives you sovereignty first. Mm-hmm. All this other stuff people talking about. That's second to him right. or her or it. <laughs> That's second. Exactly. Because it, her, she, him gave manpower to have the authority it has. Mm-hmm. And without it, he, she, or her, whatever, man wouldn't exist. So a nation can't give you sovereignty. Mm-hmm. Tell me, a nation can't do it now? Nation cannot give you sovereignty all this join my nation you'll be free come on down boy boy you still a ward <laughs> man how you gotta get closer to the mic i'll tell you something <laughs> <laughs> yeah yeah so back up from there deals with your mindset mm-hmm. it has really nothing to do with the nation you are under Mm -hmm. because sovereigns you and i Mm -hmm. can come together collectively to form a nation Mm -hmm. but can two babies contract no can two idiots contract no can two minors contract no can people with unsound mind who cannot make rational decisions contract no so if I'm a ward in the United States construct, and you want me to come over here and join your tribe or your moral science or whatever it may be. When do I lose my warship and become a sovereign? Well, if you sign a contract with us, you get your sovereignty ship. Well, didn't I just tell you a nation cannot give you, buy, or sell you sovereignty? It just reminds me when um they uh, when families used to have crests, like each family like had their own crest, their own like nation, their own. <laughs> and they're talking about their own estates because right. they know how to administer their own estate, and that's how you get head of household, mm-hmm. or dominion, mm-hmm. of household. Right. Exactly. Right. Your home is your dominion, your castle. Right. The castle doctrine. 
Right. Well, only kings and queens are in castles. I, I got I got I got sovereignty in the metaverse. <laughs> 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 what y'all talking about? I'm there. Right, I'm sorry. I can do anything. <laughs> but, and that's what that that's just to bring more lightning and light to it, lightness to it. It's like, yo, it's not, it's not, this is not a a weekend thing. This is not an app you download. This is gonna take some work. This is gonna take some paper hey, work boy. and some competence. Like <laughs> you gotta have, you gotta yeah. have. <laughs> right, and, and you don't want to walk this place alone. So yeah, get some a mentor uh, so you can help guide you in this space. I'm actually I'm actually a soul coach with Secret Energy, and um, and you want to have a guy, a trusted guy you know, who is a noble, you know. And again, my brother here has been one of my guides in this particular space of, of law or anything that came with the legalese. Help me decode oh, this stuff. Family at this point. Exactly, exactly, exactly. And that's what you want to become, you know, because again, you want to be able to make that thing mutual. My bro said, Hey, I need a website. I said, Okay, let's get it. It's, it's and, it and, and, and ladies and gentlemen, don't be afraid to do business with your friends and give them their just compensation for what they're 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 due because mm-hmm. you will want the same. same. That's what we have in our communities where we think because you look like me, you're supposed to be free. Right. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> yes, peer-to-peer transactions. Let's get it. Well, equity says mm. an even exchange or consideration. Mm-hmm. I took his time. You can't get back to do something for me. I had to use your source energy to do mm-hmm. this for me with your time. Mm-hmm. So is in in right, righteousness in me to mm-hmm. give you consideration, which is even exchange mm-hmm. for your time, rather than fiat. Rather, if it's me being a value service of giving you something or mm-hmm. whatever it is, mm-hmm. we associate consciousness with brokenness mm-hmm. and freedom. Mm-hmm. Man, it's a humble, humble. I think that's one of the words too. Being humble, like this, humble. Yeah. I think by nef- definition, it means like being broke. Like it's not yeah, right, right. It's not right. <laughs> I, I, I went broke collecting and buying these books for sure. Invest in self. <laughs> <laughs> Invest back in me so I can continue to give you the information that I'm over here buying to give to you. Because that money you donated, I went to go buy a book for it. I ain't go to the club. Right. I right. ain't pull off no Maserati. Even if I did, oh, well. <laughs> I, I still gave you the service you asked for. Exactly. But to, to, to tell you, like, that's not, we're not in it for the material. Yes. You know, sure. I love, I love what I do. Yes. Yeah. And, you know, it was up to me. I wouldn't be doing this, but it's my purpose. Yeah. So when you go away from your purpose, you're yeah. going to be in trouble. Yeah. I'm going to stick to my purpose yeah. until the creator and the answer is like, all right, son, you got enough. You off the clock. I'm like, all right, go. Right. Right. Cool. Uh, they good. <laughs> right. <laughs> Who's next? Doing something else now. Right, you know right. Whatever. You know? Exactly. But, exactly. All right. So, family, we're going uh, to wrap it up here and let you know the next podcast if you want to be a part of the next podcast you want to be known ahead of time go on my website one trap.io there should be a, a newsletter or a place that you could drop your email and a comment there and just or just email me and just say the email will be on there too and say hey let me know when the next trust or a state or anything relating to cyber care on the land or natural law or now what is what is one of the best ways to to um, say i will that? say I would say uh, gain control of your estate. Mm-hmm. And that is broad because if you know what a state is, it's not when you die. Right. An estate is anything with your name on it. Well, that all caps is not my name. What it took you for them to create it. So it's an estate. Mm-hmm. Without you, there's no all caps. Exactly. There's no bank account. There's no mortgage. There's no this. There's no that. So. Mm-hmm. When you learn how to administer these things, mm-hmm. then, then you are a sovereign. And now you can go join a contract with the nation and sign with that nation mm-hmm. and be a part of that nation as a sovereign yourself. Because a, a nation is a collective of sovereigns, not wards. Mm-hmm. You can't go from wardship to sovereign just by signing a piece of paper shame. or having an ID mm-hmm. that says, I'm a poor, or I'm a tribe. And you get locked up and they still put you under that all caps name you said you wasn't. <laughs> Exactly. Exactly. Not exactly. saying they don't do no corruption though. We right. know they facts. Okay. Facts. But facts. 
people believe just by doing certain things, you're free. And that's just right. That's just right. Part of the process. process. It's, it's more and more. There's a wholeness to it. Yes. So they'll tell the people where they can find you once more online. Yes, yes, yes. www.livingequityprivateministry.org. Uh, living, of course, the IAG is an action word. Thanks out to the Brother Center who put me on that. So we're acting out living equity. So we're acting out equity. Mm-hmm. Equity is God's conscious, what's mm-hmm. fair, what's righteous, and what's just. We're private. We're not out here uh, 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 waking up Caesar sheep. <laughs> Whatever flocks to us, flocks to us. We're not going out there searching or fishing for nothing. Because mm-hmm. you're supposed to render to Caesar. What is Caesar and give the creator God what is his. Okay. And of course, we have ministry. So the definition of the whole name explains itself, as I just told you, uh, what, what, what it means. Uh, we're a private organization, faith based organization under Title 26 USC, Section 508. Uh, we're not under state control like 501c3s. Mm-hmm. Uh, so we can get more involved in this type of uh, dealings of politics. Uh, education and things of that nature that your pastor ain't able to do. <laughs> exactly, church and state has oh, been oh, has been smacked, but has has offerings around, bro. You got a little drop box, right? Please, I right, this this uh, this bill was sponsored by the Hydrolux right here. A creation of secret energy. Uh, molecular hydrogen water is something you need within your body. This right here grants you and all your cells an amplification that takes you to the next level because the better wild water quality within you, the better quality of life you walk into. So giving thanks from your brother Curtis Aru at the One Tribe Podcast of my supreme esteemed brother, to Ray Minister, to Ray uh, Lee, the great... <laughs> coming through with the ones and twos and we're going to catch you on part two make sure to let us know if you want to be uh letting let them know when, we, when the next one is coming subscribe to the channel like even email to say hey yo let me know put me on the mailing list when y'all doing that next bill so until then wholeness wholeness peace and love to you and i appreciate you having me my brother it's been an honor a humbling experience i had this journey with you man and mm-hmm. let's let's keep it going and for those who are tuning in hopefully we'll catch you on the next podcast we want to do this i, I believe a little frequent it's all yes. we possibly can that yes. time warrants mm-hmm. uh because you know this is my gift back to the people as a minister i definitely still have to give when your cup is so full it spills over you're only supposed to give when your cup is full remember that mm-hmm. not when yeah. it's happening Mm, mm, mm. Uh huh. Uh huh. spills over, and I'm getting it. Facts. I shake, family. I love that. I Will not be televised, will not be televised. The revolution will be no rerun, brothers. The revolution will be no rerun. Hey, you're fine, Jake. You're coming for me.